I can't tell if I'm in focus. I'm just gonna hope that I am because I, I went to put the autofocus on my camera, but it's so loud. I am here in a different spot again behind by another like ugly colored wall. Um, because I'm trying to find good lighting. My bedroom lighting was not good last time. And I just finished like clearing my living room and reorganizing all yesterday because I was gonna put my bookshelves up here. Because I've lived in this house now for two years and don't have any bookshelves. So I went to my mom's house yesterday and I was going to, I took them all down. I went through a ton of books. I'm like gonna do a huge unhaul and maybe do a trash my TBR. And I brought everything here and we can't figure out like where the studs are to drill my shelves into the wall so we're, we're working on it we're getting more tools and I'm doing the mid-year book freak out tag this tag's been around for years I never did it before I've been sick for a while that's why I hadn't made a video in like two weeks after I just said I'm back and I made a video and then I didn't make anything for like over two weeks because I've been sick but I'm getting better now so that's great first question is the best book you've read so far in 2019 and I've only rated I think five or six books so far this year five stars and I've read about 41, which is great for me. Like reading 41 books in six months is insane. I've never done that. I've only ever read a maximum of 50 books in an entire year. I'm gonna say that my favorite book so far this year is An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. But it follows like a main character who's around my age. She's like 23 and it basically follows her discovering like aliens coming to earth and then she basically becomes internet famous. And she's dealing with all of that. I'm so excited there's going to be a sequel. I don't know when it's going to come out. But this book left on such a cliffhanger. And it was so amazing. Question number two is the best sequel you've read so far in 2019. Is Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman. <sighs> Another gorgeous cover. Like I just, mm, I appreciate good covers so much. This is the second book in the Ark of the Scythe trilogy. The third book I believe is coming out this fall. And this is like a YA kind of utopian, but it's, you know, all utopias are kind of dystopians, really. Um, futuristic story. The human race has kind of cured death. They've kind of, like, cured all diseases. They've figured out how to bring people back from the dead. So no one ever really dies. So to fight, like, overpopulation, um, certain people are chosen to be scythes, which means they go around and kill people at random to keep the population under control. And we follow a couple of teenagers who um, are training to become size, even though they don't really want it. Question number three is a new release you haven't read yet but want to. So I'm going to pick more than one for this because I'm going to be like Kayla from Books and Lala. So I bought three books recently that all came out this year that I'm salivating for. But the first one is Middle Game by Shauna McGuire. I don't even totally know what this book is about. It says something about these twins and this guy who like created them or like Frankenstein them or something and he's trying to attain godhood through them kind of thing. And I'm surprised by how thick this book is and I'm so excited about it because the Wayward Children series companion novels by Sean are amazing. I really love them and I haven't read anything else by her but those and I'm so excited for this because I've heard I haven't heard a single negative thing yet. I know it hasn't been out very long. And then I also have My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. I'm just really stoked for this. It wasn't even really on my radar until a couple of months ago. And I just, like, I heard what it was about and I'm like, bitch. And it is about a married couple who murders people to keep their relationship, like, fun and interesting. And then I have Girls on the Verge by Sharon Biggs Waller. It's hard to read this font. Um, this is a tiny, I did not realize how tiny this was going to be. This is a, I believe it's a Y contemporary and it is about a girl going, I think, out of state to get an abortion and having like this acquaintance from school drive her that she doesn't really know because her friends don't, um, her friends won't accept like her decision and she, I don't think she told her parents. So I think it's going to be very timely, especially for the current state of the world that we're in. And I think it's probably going to be very hard hitting. The next question is most anticipated release for the second half of the year. List I have a list. The Toll by Neil Shusterman, which is I believe the final book in the Ark of the Scythe. Like I said, I think it's coming out in November. Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I love Lee. I think everyone knows that. This one is I'm a little bit hesitant about, but I'm still really interested to see how it's going to turn out. And that's Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Steve Otter. It, this is the spinoff to The Raven Cycle, which follows Ronan. The cover is absolutely hideous, but I think once we actually have it like physically 
it might look nicer. The, the spinoff to the Wolves of Mercy Falls also had like this ugly orange and black kind of totally different style cover that doesn't go with the rest of the series. Although this is a new series, but I'm really excited for it. Maggie's kind of like my favorite problematic author. She does some questionable things. But I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this. Biggest disappointment so far this year. The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chachki. This was a, a most anticipated release. Uh, I bought it and read it pretty quickly after it came out, and I, I think I only gave it two stars. Like, I think it was compared to like Six of Crows. It was like a group of misfits who were performing a heist is how it was like sold to me, and it didn't turn out to be that. Like, I don't know. It just, I didn't really care about the characters. I didn't connect with any of them. The heist was kind of a weak plot line, and overall, it let me down, and I'm quite sad because the book is beautiful and the premise sounded really freaking good. I could also mention King of Scars, but like I didn't hate that book. Like I didn't hate The Gilded Wolves, but I just, I guess King of Scars, I didn't expect it to be like as good for me as Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. In the back of my mind, I still really hoped that it would be everything and more, but I kind of knew that it probably wouldn't be. Question six was biggest surprise. I think my biggest surprise has actually been the book that I just finished yesterday, The Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily M. Danforth. I've had this book on my radar for many years and I finally picked it up. I found it in a used bookstore earlier this year, so I wanted to read it during Pride Month and I didn't expect much and I definitely got a lot. This book is a must read, like it's a staple of queer literature I think and it's yeah, it was really good. Favorite new author. Favorite new author is Hank Green. What can I say? He really came through and really surprised me and it was so good. Newest fictional crush. I knew I was gonna have an issue with this question because I don't really, I don't really have like fictional crushes. Like I can't remember swooning over anybody, but I will say that most recently, Grayson Tig was that his name? Grayson something from the Sawkill Girls. He was so sweet, and I kept, I kept putting in my updates how he was such a sweet baby angel and like so wonderful, so accepting and so loving and caring. And he didn't have a huge role in this book, but he was just so wonderful. The newest favorite character, April May, from an absolutely remarkable thing. Cause April May, I fucking love this bitch. She is maybe an unlikable character or whatever, but I root for her and I love reading about her. She is awesome. So she would actually probably be my number one. Like how Kayla from Books and Lala answered this question was saying like, if a character was to get a sequel, like how bad would you want to read it, right? So <laughs> obviously April May is getting a sequel and I'm dying for it. Next question is a book that made you cry. Like I cried out of like almost anger at The Love and Lies of Ruxana Ali, which I listened to an audiobook earlier in June. Um, I believe I like teared up at one little part near the end. Like I looked on my, my shelf in Goodreads and I haven't marked any books as made me cry on my shelf yet this year, so it's tough to say. Um, number 11, book that made you happy. I'm just gonna answer like the first thing that comes to mind because I do not read a lot of happy books or like books that bring joy. So I'm just gonna say Red, White, and Royal Blue because this book, was so cute and so adorable and I really enjoyed reading it the whole time and thought it was just so so sweet and it was really rooting for the characters. Question number 12 is most beautiful book you've bought so far this year. I'm using a lot of the same books for over and over again but I'm gonna answer Sawkill Girls because I really love this cover. Like I am obsessed. It is so stunning. I love an illustrated cover. I love the yellow font. Like the spine looks so good and this book is gorgeous. Last question is what books do you need to read by the end of the year? But these are three books that I've owned for quite a while that I have no idea why I haven't gotten to. The first one is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I've had this book for a couple of years. I just bought the sequel this year even though I haven't read this one which I never do anymore because I've learned my lesson. So I have high expectations. I'm gonna read this one in July. I've said it now, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna read it in July. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I got this book from like a community free bookshelf or something like five years ago and I've heard amazing things and now Erin Morgenstern is coming up with a finally like another book, I think later this year. I really need to read this book. I also have The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, which this is like, I, for me, I feel like it's an essential read. Like, I need to read this book. I've been watching the new season of The Show, but that does not count. Like, 
I need to get to this, especially since this is also, I believe, getting a sequel later this year, which is crazy. That's it. That's the mid-year book freakout tag. <sighs> I did it. I really love watching these tag videos, so let me know in the comments if you've made one of these, or let me know any of your answers to these questions. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! I used to put my hand over the lens, but it doesn't work anymore, so I'm just gonna do this.